Oh my god. Hi guys. So, I think you're going to be really excited about this video. It's a bit of a get ready with me because tonight I have a hot date. Yes. Basically, I've got a date. He asked me out on a date. So, we haven't actually met properly before. So, this is like the first time. He is so hot. So, we're going out for dinner, uh, which means that I'm going to do a really dramatic makeup look. And, um... I'm so excited. So I'm going to fast forward and put a voiceover on it as well so that I don't spend so much time talking because I need to focus on looking flawless. This guy is the man of my dreams. Hopefully he doesn't see this. <laughs> Awkward. So I'm going to start out with a super flawless base. Really high coverage and everything that can withstand the heat because when I say it's a hot date, I mean it's a really hot date. Um, hold on, let me put some mood music on. Now onto eyebrows, of course, just using a pencil to pencil them in so they're not too like fake because I want to look like I have natural beauty underneath the cake face. So yeah, now I'm going to move on to eyes and using the Love palette from Too Faced, just hoping it will give me a little bit of luck. I'm going to put a taupe or brown color through the crease and then a nice shimmery neutral shade on the lid. Um, nothing too fancy really, but just going to make my eyes pop. Then I'm going to use the eyeliner to define the edge and a mauve under the eye and in the crease. Then a darker color is going to go over the eyeliner and into the V. Sorry, it went blurry here because I was just not focused on where I was filming because I was just so preoccupied on my man. Then of course I need my all nighter spray because it's going to go all night if things go to plan. So I'm putting concealer up under my eyes and then a bit of shimmer on the inner corner of my eye. So to make my eye colour stand out though, I'm also going to add that black eyeliner to the inner corner of my eye and all around the edge. So that when I put mascara on, it looks really nice and smoky, my eyes really stand out, all that jazz. This is one of those uh, tight lining mascaras which is really, really handy because you can get right into the base of the lashes and it doesn't get on your eyelid as much. Here I'm just admiring myself because I've got a good feeling about this date. Now my EXO Beauty eyelashes going on of course so I can give him the look, literally blow him over with a flutter of my lashes. Now I'm going to highlight using one of those highlighter sticks and just putting some subliminal messaging in there, pat it out again so it's not too obvious. And onto contour because I want cheekbones that can cut a bitch that come his way, besides me. And hold on, hold on, <laughs> let's put a bit of extra stuff under there because sometimes when I laugh, and I will laugh because I'm trying to impress him and make him think that he's funny, I don't want my double chin to come up. I'm going to highlight, I don't know why I bothered highlighting it above my lip because if all goes to plan, it won't be there after we have a very passionate first kiss. Of course, a neutral lip liner so my lips look big and juicy and absolutely irresistible to him. Again, it's a product that probably won't be there. Now I'm going to do my blush. And I fell over then, I remember. But it's all good. Pick yourself up and try again. Got my Too Faced blush, another heart shape, just to kind of voodoo myself into a good date. And then a glittery lip gloss. Again, you're gonna strategically pat it off before the end of the date so that he is more likely to kiss you. Now I'm gonna do my hair. And <laughs> hold on, I was trying my Kim Kardashian crying face. I blow dried my hair, brushed it, and I was amazed at how silky it was. Don't know why, there seems to be no reason. But then I curled it with my GHD wand, which I love. I'm curling all of my head and I'm also spritzing with hairspray after I've done each half. But then I'm going to use my Oribe, it's like a texturizing spray so it gives my hair some volume. I just fluff it in and I'm good to go. It's amazing. Now I'll put that away, but first... I'm going to use a simple black dress, of course, and some lingerie. La 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 la. <laughs> ah. Now slide that on. Regret all the carbs you ate that week. And get in the groove. Put the puppies up, band, and snap. Pose a bit, appreciate how hot I look. Use this as a thumbnail, and then hope that he appreciates this look as much as you do. Thank you for organizing this. This is it's beautiful. Rosé, fancy. 
Mm. Should we order? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this looks amazing. Is that all you're reading? <laughs> I guess when you've got to maintain that physique, you probably can't have that much lasagna. Shall we? Oh, right, cheers. Sorry. <laughs> Well, Mike, that was an amazing dinner. What do you say we skip the dessert, go back to my place? Really? Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, no, come with me. Mike, he didn't actually want me. When he said that he was gonna come home with me, he meant on his DVD. He just handed me this and said, all I meant when I said that you could take me home was that you could take the new Magic My XXL DVD home. I was like, what? <sighs> I guess this is what I'll have to settle for. If I can't actually have you, Mike. Hey guys, so I was just editing, oh, Mike is still there. Um, I was just editing my video and thought I would explain what just happened because that was very unlike any video I've ever done. I just came up with a creative way to help promote the launch of Magic Mike XXL on Blu-ray and DVD. So you could take Magic Mike home with you because you're not going to be able to take him home in real life because he's a fictional character. So yeah, pick up the DVD or the Blu-ray. And I hope you guys enjoyed my crazy video. <laughs> I'm watching it back while I'm editing it. It's hilarious to me. I'm filming by my sister, which is very... She's right there, so I'm not going to go and say... And also a little cameo by my mum's hands. So thanks to those people involved. And um, I'll come up with a better speech when I win the Oscar. Hope you enjoyed.